All right, this story is about dealing with a certain manufacturer, and it, and it happens with a lot of the manufacturers. Uh, some are greater and some are not. But uh, this one manufacturer, they, and I don't want to name names, but uh, they kind of begged us to take on their line because we were doing really good. And, and uh, you know, we took on their line, sold a decent amount, and we were just chugging along with this stuff. Not selling a huge amount, but not selling, you know, nothing. And everything seemed fine. You know, it was a, it was okay equipment and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it looked good and it sounded all right. And, uh, you know, people seemed to like it. But what happened at a certain point, the, uh, the owner of the, the company decided that they were going to hire a marketing company and they kind of came in and they start, uh, strong arming all the dealers. This is basically telling them, okay, you did this much money this year. We need in the next month, we need you to do another $20,000 worth of business. And if you don't do the $20,000 worth of business, we're going to just cut you off. And you would inevitably, you know, either you could do it or you can't. And, you know, sometimes you just don't have the business, you know, for it. So the month would go by and then they would cut you off. And also all the history you have with them and all the time that you've been promoting their product, they just decide at a whim that they're going to cut you off. And I remember with this one manufacturer, a whole year went by. They cut me off. A whole year went by. And they got back in touch with me. They go, you know what? We'd really love for you to be a dealer again. And I was like, okay, uh, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, do that again. And, uh, you know, start promoting their, their stuff. Didn't sell a lot of it. And, you know, and some of it, you kind of have to plant the seeds. You, you tell people about stuff. And when the budget comes, they're, they're ready to, to, you know, to buy stuff. Well, uh, another, another year went by. And uh, the same thing, they put pressure on us. You know, you had to do that much business or we're going to cut you off. So they, they, uh, you know, we, we tried it hard, as hard as we could. And, you know, business was slowing down. And then uh, I remember it was a church or something. I, I sold one of the products for this company, you know, got the PO and everything. And then I get a call uh, from their marketing company and saying, well, we've decided to cut you off. And I go, well, I just sold a piece. And they said, well, okay, since we like you and you're a friend, we'll, we'll let you sell, sell that one piece. And I, I was just so angry with these people. I, I said, you know what? Send me the piece. And I made it so they understood that this is just not the way you do business. And a lot of the dealers were looking at me like, George, you, you got some guts if, you, if you're going to do what you're going to do. And I did it. And I don't want to go into detail, but it pissed them off and they won't forget my name, you know, uh, from now on, but you just can't do that. You can't be the manufacturer, open up a dealer, play around with them, shut them down, open them up, shut them down, and, and open them up whenever you want need more business and shut them down when you don't need any any business because you're spending all this time promoting their product. And sometimes it takes, I mean, sometimes, all the times, it takes a, a, a bit of a legwork and, you know, to take the product out and for people to try it and all that. And for them, they kept on shutting me down and opened me up. It just got, it got on my nerves. And I said, all right, I'm going to take care of them. So they are not going to forget me ever. And I won't, don't want to have anything to do with their product line ever again. And uh, clients of mine that know me know who I'm talking about. And I just had it with these people. Um, but you got to do this kind of stuff. And all the other dealers, they just didn't have the guts to do anything. They, they were just taking it. And I go, I'm not, I'm not taking it anymore. It's not, that product's not that important to me and it shouldn't be important to anybody. You just let it go and uh, you'll figure it out later. So there you go with my little rant, but uh, don't want to name names, but uh, my clients know who I'm talking about.